Hello and welcome to Launch Complex One in the beautiful Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand, the only private orbital launch site in the entire world. So just behind me here is our newest addition, Pad B. What we're doing here with Pad B is essentially doubling our launch capacity. The ability to launch and our launch cadence is essentially doubled by having an additional pad. Launch Complex One is like no other launch site in the world. Uh, we literally started on a green field here in Mahia Peninsula, built one little pad and a small integration facility, and now we have two pads, a number of clean rooms, making a world-class launch facility. We created a launch complex that was capable of launching once every 72 hours, to a range of inclinations, right from mid-inclination, about 30 degrees, all the way to sun-synchronous orbit, all from Launch Complex One. For us, it's really important to have launch pads in both hemispheres of the planet. So we have two launch pads in the southern hemisphere, one launch pad in the northern hemisphere. For our government customers, it's really great to be able to have that flexibility and that access where they don't have to leave US soil to launch out of LC2. Um, and for our commercial customers and some of our government customers, they have the flexibility to choose which pad they want to go out and which, which pad suits their schedule the best. Right now we've got one customer uh, that's ready to go on, on this pad behind me and another customer that's processing and getting ready to go on that pad. So with Pad B, we took a lot of the design from our original Pad A and made some small improvements to make our operation that much more efficient. We use the same integration facility, the same rocket runway, um, with our final infrastructure all placed in a concrete pad no more bigger than a tennis court. LC1 really is the latest state-of-the-art launch facility. We had this real luxury from day one saying, OK, blank sheet, how are we going to build a launch pad to really be the 21st century launch pad? And what you see here is, is an, just an absolute streamlined flow to be able to take customers' payloads, get them processed and get them on orbit. And the second pad really just solidifies that. So launch range is much more than just a couple of pads. Out at LC1 here, you see multiple clean rooms that enable us to process multiple customers at one time. Up the top of the road there, we have range control where we are in charge of the entire range. We don't rely on any government range, any government assets, AFTS systems, tracking dishes, everything. It's all owned and controlled by Rocket Lab. Having Pad B really means we can eliminate pad recycle time, which enables us to just do launch after launch and just pace them one after the other. With two launch pads, we have doubled our capacity and reached ultimate launch flexibility. This means when a customer needs us, we've got a pad ready. From LC1, we've flown over 100 satellites to date, all supporting everything from climate science through to international logistics, maritime surveillance, and soon we look forward to launching to the moon and beyond. Launch Complex One has become the gateway to space for small satellites.